Have you ever been told that your knife costs way too much? How's it going, everybody? I'm Roll Shambo, the connoisseur and collector of all things sharp and shiny. But we're not talking about this guy today. We're not talking about a knife. In fact, we're going to put the knives down. It's probably a good idea because we're going to talk about a different piece of EDC gear. We're going to talk about pens. This, of course, is your run-of-the-mill Pilot G2 gel pen. You can find them at Walmart. They're extremely disposable. They get lost in the couch cushion, sat on. They bleed through your pants. And ultimately, they end up in the trash heap somewhere. However, people in the EDC hobby tend to go for something a little more premium. So today we're going to talk about this guy. This is the Smooth Precision Pens Bolt Action V2.2. See, I reached out to Smooth Precision Pens, formerly known as Urban Survival Gear, and said, hey, I got to know what this is about. Would you send me one? And it arrived. So let's talk about it. The not-so-cheap Smooth Precision Pens V2.2. Let's go. All right. So this is the Smooth Precision Pens Bolt Action V2.2. And for starters, I gotta say, I love packaging when they give you this little pull tab and you can get this nice, satisfying, reveal-style sty unboxing. That's just really cool to me because then you get to see it in presentation mode and it definitely doesn't disappoint. The packaging has some useful information on it. Like, for example, it says, precision built, Swiss lathe construction like watch parts and medical devices, which, if you didn't know, require extremely tight tolerances, smooth move, pe pen actuation, Unique, unique click-free actuation using pocket clip, uh, so on and so forth. This part right here was really interesting to me. Proprietary dark side stone washed finish. That's cool. I love the name. And of course, it's got a wiggle free tip. Apparently in the pen world, uh, we also don't want any play in our parts. And that really comes down to tolerances. So let's go ahead and get this out and talk about it. So this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, my first impressions of this pen are really good, and I'll tell you why. I absolutely love how shiny and polished those grooves are in the titanium. This is a full titanium construction with titanium pocket clip, uh, titanium body, and this stonewash finish is really, really neat. I, I love what they did there. It feels very smooth in the hand. Uh, the little specks, the little stone washing that goes on there does actually help. It's more than just an aesthetic. It does help with wear and tear over time. Because any kind of pen you're going to be holding on to, you're going to be putting in your pocket and maybe in your shirt pocket, uh, maybe in your pants pocket. And so it's going to see some wear. And stone washing is really good for avoiding extra scratches that make you, you know, all of a sudden just notice the wear. So that's cool. Um, it is in fact bolt action, which is nice. And that action is very, very smooth. The sound of that engaging and disengaging, it almost sounds airtight. And I wouldn't be surprised because if you look right there, you have O-rings on the inside. So it could very well be airtight. Now, we can't really talk about a pen like this that costs $150. You heard me, $150. Um, without talking about pens like this. I'll, I'll tell you why. So first and foremost, whenever you talk to somebody about the, the new pen that you bought that costs this much, and I believe they are on sale right now for $130, which is cool. You know, we all want to save some money, but whether it's 130 or 150, that's a lot of money for a writing utensil that you can get like this, you know, for a couple bucks at Walmart. So the question then becomes why? 
Uh, these both write. In fact, the Bolt Action V2.2 uses the same cartridge as this guy, the Pilot G2. And the Pilot G2 writes very well. Um, so why would you buy this? 150 instead of like, you know, a million of these. I think that it's a discussion that we have to have because, you know, if you talk to any sane person outside of the EDC world, they'll be like, what are you doing? They, I mean, they, they might judge you. God forbid they judge you for investing in a writing utensil and a tool like this. Well, there are actually some very compelling reasons why you would rather have this than this. And, and let's talk about it. So this is one of those pens and everyone has one. They land in your couch cushions, maybe in the center console of your vehicle. You sit on them, they get beat up, they get cracked. And even though you can replace that ink cartridge, they almost always get thrown away when you're done. You know why? Because they're easily replaceable. Uh, these are made out of plastic. They are not super durable, but they do get the job done for most people. And same thing with this one. This one is more of a premium pen, but still plastic, still cheap in comparison to this. And when I was thinking about this discussion, the first thought in my head was, well, there, there's two people, right? The first person is the person that just wants a writing tool and they don't care. They don't care about the image. They don't care about the fact that when they're done with this, it's going in the garbage to eventually end up somewhere in a trash heap that will not get recycled and, you know, will continue to pollute the earth. And whether or not you care about recycling, the fact is, is that pollution is in fact a very real problem. I'm not going to preach on that. I'm just stating a fact. Uh, when you buy a pen like this, you're promoting the era of buy it and throw it away because when we're done, we don't have to worry about this, right? It just goes into the away wherever away is, which is you know, the North Pacific trash heap, most likely, which is in the ocean. Okay. I said I wasn't going to preach, so I'll continue, but you don't care. Like if you use this pen, you, you just don't care. You just want a writing utensil, something that, you know, you can write on this is a pen end of story. And yeah, it works great. When you buy a pen like this, however, you're getting so much more. Um, for starters, this is not made out of plastic. When the ink runs out, because you spent 130 or $150, whatever the price was at the time of purchase, it's very compelling to, instead of replacing the whole pen, to actually just replace the spent cartridge. Now, the really cool part about this pen is, is that you can replace every single part of it. You can replace the body. You can replace the tip. You can replace the spring. You can replace the cartridge. You can replace the clip. You can replace the O rings for crying out loud. That's right. The O rings are replaceable. This is very, very clearly a pen that could be the last pen that you ever buy. If all you need is a writing utensil, you could buy one of these or you could buy a million of these. Now, the difference is, is that this is something that you could put with your other EDC gear. Chances are, if you're watching this episode right now, uh, you might already be into watches. You might already be into knives. You might already have EDC pouches, so on and so forth. And so you might already know that high quality pens uh, manufactured with materials like titanium, they come at a hefty price point. They're not cheap, but they're also not made cheaply. So let's talk about how it's made. Uh, I did some digging and they use a Swiss lathe. Did you know that Swiss lathes are ac can be accurate and have tolerances in their manufacturing upwards of like 150 thousandths of an inch? That is absolute insanity, and Swiss lathes are not cheap either. In fact, they go for somewhere in the realm of hundreds of thousands of dollars. This is not some cheap overseas made thing that will end up in a trash heap. This is something that is manufactured with precision. Ah, see what I did there? And 
That manufacturing comes at a cost, especially when it's made here in the US. Now you can't see that very well, but the underside of the pocket clip serves as a reminder because it says made in Texas. Yes, <clears throat> so this was made in Texas. Now, some of you might be thinking to yourself, that looks like a tie scribe. Well, that's because Smooth Precision Pens rebranded. They were Urban Survival Gear, which made the tie scribe. But they keep making new iterations, nitpicking the small things, like making sure that the tumbling reaches everywhere, making sure that you have everything that you need, making sure that it's easy to open this up and customize and replace parts so that this can be a pen that lasts you for the rest of your life. The only way this does not last you that long is if you lose it. If you lose this, then yeah, you're out. And that's the one thing that does kind of point out a bummer about the price tag is, is that, you know, $150, $130 is not something that is easy to replace regularly. When you carry an item like this, you're going to be more mindful, more thoughtful about what you're doing, where you're going, and that kind of habit is actually a good one to be in. Speaking of the thoughtfulness behind this pen, I have to talk about the manufacturing process specifically because it's actually very impressive. And I'll have the uh, little information snippet pop up here on the screen, but it says, uh, when you go to their website, if you look this up, it says, we design our pens using the latest AI aided technology plus our own creativity. The parts are built using a Swiss lathe and vertical mills. All tolerances must be within 50 thousandths of an inch or are rejected. Uh, as a final QC, all surfaces and finishes are checked with a microscope for irregularities. With a microscope. You thought you go over things with a fine tooth comb, you know, when they come in the mail and you're like, hmm, I don't know, that has a little bit of wiggle. You know, with a microscope, do you have one? They do, and they use it apparently to check to make sure that these are good to go. Uh, they do all of the finishing process by hand which is phenomenal. Anytime you have American made work with QC done by hand, with the finishing processes done by hand, that's not cheap. You gotta pay people to do that. They gotta pay for people's health insurance, so on and so forth. But all of these things add up into one really nice pen. And this is definitely something that you could be proud of. You could carry this, you could use this, uh, you can use more than just G2 refills. I did some digging and I found that you can use a lot of different refills for this, in fact. And there's there's information out there. Like I saw that someone used a Mont Blanc refill or a Schmidt 5888 refill, and you can do a lot. But there's nothing wrong with the Pilot G2 that's currently in here. And if you don't like this minimalistic look, they do have other options as well. They, get, they make limited runs of uh, things like dragon scale. I've seen some really crazy engravings, um, but this one in fact is going to be great for most people because it is simplistic, but it is also refined. I loved refined. I love refined simplicity because the understatement is beautiful. And this is coming from someone that generally likes, you know, wild looking knives with out of this world design. If you want, you can replace the pocket clip. You can use, uh, you can buy a Timascus pocket clip. You can buy a titanium Damascus pocket clip. Uh, you can change the refill. You can change the O-rings. You can change the springs. The options are really endless, especially if you think about sending something like this to a shop to get custom anodized, which is, you know, something that you can do. Uh, you'll notice up here that you have a disassembly you know, star screw point. Uh, you can in fact take these apart really easily. Something that I thought was really nifty was when you look at the tip, you'll see that it says smooth precision there. But furthermore, that threading does not happen until a little bit down on that barrel. By the time you're done pushing this past that smooth part, it makes it impossible to cross thread that tip which is really nifty. It also points out the fact that they care about the small things. And when you're spending this kind of money on a pen, uh, you pay for attention to detail. It's classy. It's something that pairs really nicely with other knives or with other EDC gear. The finish is 
really, really beautiful. It's kind of like this gunmetal stone washed finish. And then of course the polished milling really pops. I'm very impressed. It took me a long time to understand why someone would spend over a hundred dollars on an EDC pen. But again, it boils down to the simple fact that this could literally be the last pen that you ever buy. But let me know, do you like EDC pens? Is this too bougie? Would you ever consider one? Or are you forever going to be relegated to using the good old Walmart special? Let me know in the comments section down below. Guys, if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, boohoo, you know what to do. And if you want to check out more EDC content, make sure you hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. I'm Will Shambo. I'll catch you on the flip side.